Okay, so and today I have uh, another another N64. This time that's a RGB advanced RGB with a twist. That's the Donald Trump edition, which cost an arm. So yeah, I think I have everything re ready. Basically, this one goes here, then that goes oh no, yeah, stupid. And then there's this one which goes here and then and the ends up here the thing is that's my first time doing this one so I think it's going to be enjoyable but when I will do it the second time, the first time might be, uh, I don't know, might not be that great. And uh, yeah, I have no idea if I need to, if if I would, I should rather pretend these pads or not. What's going to be the best method? Anyway, I'm going to. I found, I find that uh, when you want to install a flex cable on a fine pitch uh, pins like that, I find it easier when you reflow them first. This flux is quite good, but you need to put quite a quite a lot for it to do its thing, which is a bit annoying, to be honest. Come on. Yeah, no editing today. Um, I prepared the small wires, etc. Everything should be good to uh, just do it in one take. So. Yeah, sorry for the cleaning, might be boring. 
But uh, the editing is, uh, is a pain in the ass, so if I need to edit all my videos, I won't make any, so feel free to jump, uh, jump forward in the video. So if it's not uh, focused, I was checking for myself. These are so fine that I can't tell or not if they are shorted. Those might be... Yeah, those are shorting here. Come on. Yeah, so as you may be able to see, basically, 
here there is some uh, just before the um, the the pin itself there is some solder so on the other side there is also on the on the flex that's the back side there is some copper here or gold plated or something um, so they are all connected but as you can see in the middle we can see the the holes like here so i'm going to re reapply some solder even though that's good that doesn't look good so and uh, it will make a uh, stronger uh, mechanical connection to physical connection anyway uh. That should look that should look better. Just going to check for for shorts. Okay, it might be awkward. Yeah, that's awkward. Here I'm checking the continuity uh, between the middle pin 
of the controller port 1 and this pin here number 16 uh, if you don't have continuity here check the vias here you can solder you can solder here on this one i have uh, i have continuity basically those um this one has a D DNC um, uh, video uh, how to say uh, RGB on amp encoder actually um, if you have an MAV NUS that requires uh, a small adapter like that uh, then your PIF NUS uh, won't have this pin connected to here so you, you will need to find um, a VR somewhere here I'm saying that because I, I've had some questions uh, lately uh, regarding that so might be helpful That here is a 3.3 volt uh, supply. The 27th pin is the reset pin. In my case, 16 is uh, the controller. I will zoom again for the rest, that's just uh, a couple of wires, it's not very interesting. Oh by the way, this uh, mod kit costs a hundred pounds that's why I've never installed this one of these before I mean with the flex cable if you if you get the the normal uh, advanced RGB that you need to use some uh, wire instead of flex cable that's 80 pounds so that's that's still um, expensive so this mod is really really expensive and without a um, how to say a YPBPR component cable you won't be able to take advantage of the I have no idea Wow, that's awkward. Okay, so I think I'm going to print in all the the pads. Yeah, I think that's the, the right way to go. Not much. I don't think there is there is a need for more than that. Okay. 
Oh, that's why. Oh. Jesus. I'm stupid. That goes here. Yeah, that's better. I wonder whether... Yeah, it needs to be like that. That would be a bit awkward. Can't you see? Yeah. Okay. So right there I can already give you an advice if you need to do that. Don't put as much uh, solder um, that that I, like I did. You really need the, a very small amount actually. That's fine, I, as you can see that's fine but uh, I wish I had put a little bit, a little bit less. Quite neat. It's not properly aligned, but it's not too bad either. And that's quite quite cool. Now this one.
me check real quick for the, this jumper. I don't remember actually. Where's the cable? C sync pin three. Just to be on the safe side, I'm going to to cut the traces. I should have uh, looked at this before. Okay, back to the good stuff. This needs to do um, to go like that. Yeah. something so bend here bend here yeah yeah that's a bit awkward
Not easy uh, doing this side. Bit awkward. I'm afraid to burn the cable here. So yeah, that really awkward. Maybe for a left-handed person, it might be a bit easier. And do not use that tip. I'm I'm having a hard time because of that too. Come on, just melt. Okay, so that should look that should look pretty good. Let me clean and make a close-up. Okay, so let, let's see if that works. Oh, don't leave too soon, by the way. If you ma made it to this part of the video, uh, I will actually have a little something more on this one. Provided that the, it, it provided that this works, of course. And I have nothing 
on the on the OSSC so that's not a good sign maybe I'm forgetting something no um, no sync oh maybe I know okay I, I got sync for a second on RGSB so I think I just forgot to take care of the, the jumpers J11 closed. Okay. It says it yes, it says uh, J11 Wait, what? Ah. Yeah, J1.1, so it means this jumper 1.1, it means the first and the second. Um if not, it would be if if it were the pad number two and three, it would be J one point two. That might be a bit confusing. So, but one point one means the the one on the left. Come on, just okay. Still getting no sync. Jumper SG 3.2 closed. It doesn't say why. 3.2 closed. C sync. Okay, so I don't have sync basically. Okay, this might work. Oh, I have a signal on the on the OSSC. Let's go. Yeah, it's working. So yes, but that won't work. Oh yes, it will work on the OSSC. On the OSSC, I can do. Uh, Light, dum light doubling yeah you can hear me yes um, but if you if you are using that on a TV with a SCART cable line doubling uh, won't work on most TV like uh, really most TV um, I'm just looking for something okay RGB um, okay that should be fine, let's save, save, yes, okay, and um, ok, 
it. So everything is working. And now I want to try this. I made an, an, a YPBPR a component cable for the uh, N64. So the gray part is a, an official uh, YPBPR component cable for the Xbox 360. They are uh, high quality, fully shielded, so they are the best quality. That's just a plug for the uh, multi AV out. So. Hopefully that works and I wired it correctly. No, not that. Okay, yeah. So I need to go to first go to the to the menu, basically. That should make it work, hopefully. Yes. Hmm. Yeah, I, I, I still have nothing on the, um, for the YPBPR. So basically, uh, Badad84 took care of the install installation uh, guide for the advanced RGB with the flex cable, and it doesn't cover uh, YPBPR at all. So it should work, but uh, yeah, I need I first need to to find a way to make it work, and I want maybe I, I can try. You can you can leave and maybe. Uh, if you want to stay, I'm, I'm, maybe I'm going to find it in two, two minutes. Um, if not, uh, see you in the next video. And uh, if you want to stick out to see if I'm going to make it or not. Yeah, so I tried uh, swapping around the RGB uh, RCA uh, connector. Maybe, maybe as uh, I, I wired I wired it wrong. So that's that's what I was trying to do. I put it in 2x mode YPBPR. I don't get a sync signal at all. So yeah, I probably either fucked up that, or I need to set up another uh, jumper. So I need to go to 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 have a read on the on the the usual install guide the more the the one that doesn't cover flex cable and I, I think 
it's probably a, a matter of jumper maybe my my cable but it's really simple actually so I, I, I don't see how I could have fucked that up so yeah hopefully it's not too dreadful of a video and uh, see you later